At its onset, the founding members of the Daughters of the American Revolution invoked the thoughts of our country's founders that education, above all else, is the decisive element of a democracy. The DAR built this ideal into the three pillars of the organization and have dedicated a majority of their efforts over the past century to education programs throughout the nation. In the early 20th century, the newly formed DAR contributed financial support at the chapter level to numerous schools across the country. In 1914, the South Carolina Daughters voted to establish a school for mountain girls in the remote northwestern part of the state. Securing support from the National Society, as well as land and financial donations, the chapter opened the Tomasi DAR School in February of 1919, and today continues its educational mission. Other areas of the country also saw the creation of schools during the early 20th century, including the Kate Duncan Smith DAR School in Alabama, the Crossnor School in North Carolina, the Hillside School in Massachusetts, the Hindman Settlement School in Kentucky, and Berry College in Georgia. Today, the six DAR schools are funded by over $1 million annually from the DAR. Through DAR's American Indians Committee, funds are also allocated to Bacone College in Oklahoma and Chamawa Indian Preparatory Academy in Oregon to help the educational needs of Native American students. American history has always been a focus of DAR education efforts. The first DAR American History Essay Contest was held in 1898. To today, through a nationally coordinated program that encourages youngsters to learn about history in a new light, more than 4,000 schools participate in this annual contest for students in grades 5 through 8, with nearly 66,000 essays submitted yearly. The DAR Scholarship Committee awards approximately $200,000 yearly in a wide range of disciplines. Applications for DAR scholarships average more than 1,600 each year. Educating the next generation to be good citizens is also a top priority for the DAR through various programs. In 1921, after years of chapter-level citizen education programs for immigrants, the National Society published the DAR Manual for Citizenship to help educate newly arrived immigrants preparing for the naturalization process. Over the next few decades, the DAR would produce over a million copies of the manual. Junior American Citizens Committee is one of the society's oldest youth-oriented committees. It reaches out to tens of thousands of students from kindergarten through grade 12 to promote patriotism in every child. To help promote the program across the country, many chapters recognize achievements through awards, as well as holding contests in creative expression and community service. With more than half of the national committees focusing on elements of education, the DAR is prioritizing this founding principle within the organization. Over the last 125 years, through its many programs for youth and adults, the DAR has given the opportunity to learn to millions of lives.